Alright, this right here is a video of me converting my instrument panel from incandescent light bulbs to LEDs. And as you can see, this is what I'm starting with. Um, a few of the lights are out, and also the theater lights are out. Um, I've actually taken this instrument panel bef off before. Um, that's why you can actually see the odometer. The uh, That actually didn't work before. So, um, this right here is just me gauging what it looks like before, and I'll be doing it after. Um, I won't be doing it tonight because it just rained. Um, also, it's way too late. I'm just doing this real quick. Um, also, I'm going to take up outside pictures because I got a dome light as well. Just want to see the difference. Oops. So leave that door open. So, just taking a quick look at what it's going to look like outside, see, what, see if it's going to be brighter or not. So, when I get a chance, I'll see how, how it's going to look. Alright, All right, so now it's daylight. I am going to remove the odometer, or I'm going to remove the instrument panel. Um, I have already taken everything apart. There is another video on YouTube that shows you the instructions on removing everything, but real quickly, um, to remove this plastic piece, there are two 7 millimeter screws that hold it on, and then you just have to pop it off. Um, there are those little, you know, get it, these little things right here. Just be careful, I've already broken one off, so um, these do get brittle over time. Um, next thing you want to do is you want to drop the steering wheel down so there's a there's a little panel down here there's uh, about I believe it's six or seven one two three four seven or eight um, of these seven, seven millimeter head screws you gotta remove to get this plastic piece off now you can just let everything hang because all you're doing is getting the instrument panel um, also gonna remove these there are two pop taps uh, pop tabs there's one here on this side, one here on the front. I'm not, all that does is you just pull that straight off here. Pull that straight off. Um, then there's um, two 13 millimeter bolts holding the steering column up. Just drop that. And then on the back, uh, remove these two pieces, these right here, the electrical connections. You just have to push this piece in on this side, this on the other. You should be able to pull it right off. Um, there's also uh, these red uh, red connectors holding those in, so you got to pull those off first. And then there's four bolts that are holding the cluster in. There's two on the back. Let's see if I can find it. There's one right here. There's the same thing on the other side. And then there's one right there. And another one right there. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this now. going to see there's uh, what I'm doing is going to be replacing some of these not all of them um, I mainly want the backlight ones so let's relocate to some place where I can put this on a table okay so I'm back inside now uh, I'm going to show you the back of this of the instrument cluster um, these right here are all the lights. Every, there's three different types. There's the black for the odometer. There's red for, it looks like, theater lights. There's some random one here. And then there's one, two, three, four for the backlights. I am going to be replacing mainly these backlight ones, these theater lights, um, and the odometer one. Because the odometer, it, you saw on the previous one, uh, previous video from um, the night, that the light was on actually it wasn't because I switched out with ABS. I don't have ABS, so I just uh, switched the bulbs out. Um, so uh, what you're going to want to do is actually go back to the junkyard when we are replacing these um, backlight ones. Um, now it may be different depending on the um, year of your Saturn or vehicle, um, but you want to replace these red ones. These right here, you cannot remove the bulb, or if you do uh, figure out how to remove the bulb, um, you're going to have to do a lot of wiring and um, soldering, and I don't want to do that. So um, what you're going to do is replace them with these gray ones that you can find out in any solder and just pull out the uh, instrument clusters and liberate these things from the cluster itself. Um, so 
what I have here, um, the if you're going to replace them with regular uh, incandescent light bulbs, you need the number 74 um, incandescent light bulb. Um, I'm going to be replacing them with, I got these from superbrightleds.com, they're 74 um, CWHP3, the CW means cool white, and HP I think is high powered 3. Um, these will give you a 360 degree um, light around so you don't have hot spots. So, you know, let me get a few out of the bag. I'm only, I got 10 here, I'm only gonna, that's like I think a 7. Uh, so let me pull a few of them out. There we go. Be careful not to touch the the diodes, which are these white things. There's one there, one there, and one there. This right here is one of the LEDs. Uh, so here's what we do. <clears throat> we take one of the gray ones here. Which all right, uh, yeah, I took one of the gray ones. Um, you're going to remove this bulb, and all you have to do is stick one of these in, and you are you'll stick one of these things in here. Be careful not to touch the diodes. And that's pretty much all there is to it. Uh, and then you just stick it back. Then you just stick it back in the um, the slot. Um, you will be doing a lot of trial and error because these are pol what the company says they are polarized. So you're gonna have to make sure that um, when you go and put plug everything back in, do not put anything back in until you know all the lights are working. So if that happens, all you have to do is just pull it out and switch uh, turn it around. So um, this one right here is for the backlight to the uh, part of the uh, the fuel gauge and uh, or the fuel gauge and part of the odometer or of the uh, speedometer. Sorry. So just like you saw me as I drop it, um, take it and you just have to pop it in and give it a click. There it is. That one's all there is to it. I'm going to go ahead and replace the rest of them that I want to replace, and we'll go back to the, to the car and put it back in and test it out. All right, now all that's done. If some of those lights are still working, just go ahead and hold on to them as uh, backups. So, go ahead and head back out to the car. I am also replacing um, that light to um, the dome light. This right here is the, if I can read it, that it's a R14410 uh, Cool White HP9. Um, it's called a rigid loop festoon um, that's going to replace the dome light, the incandescent dome light in my vehicle. So let's go ahead and go back and replace that and also bring this, this uh, instrument cluster back and see if we can see those lights. Alright, back in the car. Go ahead and remove this. Right here is the old light. Yeah, let's see if we can get it. the old one out it's pretty much just like stuck right into there and then there and get the, old, the new one there she is all right same basic principle with this one this one's also polarized so let's give it a shot here and stick that right there and let's see if I can get it and come on there we go Let's turn it on. Ooh, nice. There we go. And we just have to put this clip back on. And if you notice, I'm using a uh, zip tie to hold this thing on. Saturn's are notorious for those things break. These things breaking off. It's right here, so it wouldn't. It wasn't gonna stay on. So we're gonna go ahead and just put that back on now. Here's that, and we are done with that. All right. Now it is on. I'm sorry, it's a little bright out here. So there's one light. One theater light is good. This one I'm going to have to turn around. Uh, odometer is not on, so I'm gonna have to flip that one around. And also this side right here is not on, so I'm gonna have to flip that one around. 
Now, I've already repl uh, placed this in there once to see if those lights were out. So uh, if some of those lights were out, for example, I believe um, when we looked at it, it was this one here and then the odometer was out. Um, all you have to do is remove the bulb, flip it 180, and then stick it back in. Now this one, I had already flipped it around, so um, and so those copper con those connections are on the copper, um, and because the the LEDs are polarized, so they can only put it be put in one direction. Um, if you notice one's out, just flip it around, and that's all there is to it. Um, check it again. It might take you a few times just to make sure everything's correct. Um, let's see. Yeah, this one's good. I replaced that one that one, that one, and that one, and then the odometer. All these other ones, if you really want to, um, there is a lot of bulbs um, on this, and the number 74 ones, I believe they were almost 350, or was it either 250 or 350 each, and then for the bulb, for the dome light, that was around five something. Um, I got 10 bulbs and that, and it cost me 40 bucks. If you want to replace that, good luck. I don't know how much. <laughs> I'm not going to do the math right now, um, but that'd get really expensive just to replace all these LD LEDs. So, um, well, if you're going to do that, uh, you, always, you can always replace it with incandescents. This will also double as showing you how to do that as well. Um, so hopefully this helps you. I'm going to go ahead and put everything back together. It's just reverse install, uh, reverse of removing everything so I'm not going to go into um, putting everything back so uh, hopefully this helps you let me know if this does uh, write a comment or uh, if you got any questions go ahead and post them and I will do my best to answer them as quickly as I can um, good luck and I will see you next time all right it's night time now so I can show you what it looks like um, it does have a really nice light blue tint to it um, and this is actually as low as the dimmer switch can go. Um, here it's as bright as it can go. It looks pretty neat. Um, let's go one more. Down one more. Yeah, I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can probably get some bluer lights. I don't know how that would uh, work. Uh, some people have said that it's actually kind of masked the, the red uh, for like the 7 and the 8. Uh, 1000 RPM range and right there on the E. So, I mean, it's up to you. Uh, that's what I, this is what I figured would work best. I'm gonna give it a couple weeks and see how it works. I mean, I like it already. Um, you can actually, I can actually definitely tell on the odometer that there's a lot different uh, color. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Also, this definitely gives it, let's see if it'll zoom out, come on. There we go. Gives a lot better lighting in here. Go out. You won't even register the inside the car. Yeah, it's actually a little dimmer than having an incandescent light bulb in there. But yeah, gives a little different lighting. So, all right.